Hey everybody, this is Jackie Jean with Jean Photography and I wanted to show you just a quick edit using one of my sky overlays and actions just to you know, give you guys ideas on how to kind of mix and match stuff together. So this is the image that we're going to start with. It's an overcast day so I wanted to go ahead and choose a cloudy sky. And as you can see, I've got both of them open right now and what I'm doing is I'm just clicking and dragging it away and back on top of the image. Make sure to straighten out my horizon. There we go. So I'm going to choose my layers. My layers bar is over here. If you don't have that open, just go to Window and Layers, or you could click F7. Oops. And I'm going to select my mask and double click on that mask button and select Invert. And what that does is that totally hides the sky and we're going to bring it back in by painting it in. And so we want to make sure that the foreground color is white. And I've got it at 76% right now. I'm actually just kind of brushing over and we're going to go back and fix some of those areas. definitely want to blend it in as much as possible and now I'm going to go ahead and select my black for the being the foreground color and we're going to go back and just kind of correct and blend in some of those areas where I brushed over the trees and so I reduced my opacity to 25 percent edit that Just kind of brushing it, different spots, making sure it kind of blends in. There we go. Edit fade. And main thing with sky overlays too is I want to make it look as natural as possible. Because sometimes it's really hard, you know, it's easy to get a blown sky when you're focusing in meeting metering off of your subject too so all right okay so I like where it's at so I'm gonna go ahead and flatten my image and I notice there's one spot right there so I'm just gonna clone that in that I missed there we go okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create a slight vignette on the bottom half the image and this is just burning it just a little bit. I've got my exposure set to 42%. I'm going to bring that down, edit fade that back to about 60%. You can kind of see here's the before and after so far. And let's see, well, let's go ahead and do Freedom Moonlight Matte as far as actions. I want to run that. It's a little bit warm right now as far as the tones of it and I want to cool it off and so I'm going to use the cool actions under the freedom collection and I actually want to add a little bit of matte which is why I'm using the freedom moonlight matte. I'm going to go ahead and press play on it. As you can see there's the grouping and you can change the overall opacity of the whole group of all the layers together or you can go to each individual layer and adjust it to however you want. I am going to reduce the brightness to about 14% and the overall to about 80%. And the next thing I'm going to go to my background and I'm going to run one more action and we're going to do paint on some pop. I'm going to press play. As you can see nothing's happened yet because what we need to do is paint the effect back in. So I've got my paintbrush and I've got my foreground set to a white. And I'm just going to paint him in. He's at 25% right now. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that opacity to about 68%. And this adds some nice contrast and color. There we go. And we are done. Here's the before and after.